Now, you see this cool little pattern in here, this design? Um, I got it a certain way, and I totally forgot to include that in my very first tool path. So let's back up. This is just a little edit to my stage one video, which is not that big of a deal. What I left out was on this face tool path, I need to leave material. This part is actually going to be a little bit thicker than the nominal value, which for our purposes is okay, because it's a bottle opener, um, and I don't care for this. So what I did was I did a right click, I'm gonna do a right click edit, and I'm gonna leave stock. I, on this tool path, I left five thou on the top and bottom. So that way when I did my ball end mill to create this pattern, that I would go to my model top on the ball end mill and I left five thou a stock. So it cut five thou. So the way I did that was on stock to leave, I did axial stock to leave 0 0.005. Okay. And then that is all. That is the little update. So all these ones, when you go through the material in process stock, is it'll look like the very top is not cleaned up because it's not. And if I come over here and check this one, it should be the same. I should have left stock to leave. I did. So that is part one of the, tr <laughs> that is one of the tricks I did uh, for this bottle opener. So that's just a little update and I didn't want to recreate a whole another video. That is it. It is for the stage one face, um, right click, edit, um, stock to leave on passes tab, boom, 5,000. Thanks, bye.